And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Good Monday morning. Well, we've had some rain showers in our area and some of that drizzle through the overnight hours. I'm expecting that to kind of wrap up while it will be wet on the pavement as you head off to work or to school today. That should really be clearing out of here. You can see that on satellite and radar right now. As for the cloud cover, that's going to be clearing out as we head through the day today as well. But it looks like a little bit of cloud cover out there right now. That's probably going to stick around again as you head off to work and school. It should, though, clear out by about the lunchtime. Take a look at the temperatures. This is going to be what we're really feeling outside. We're seeing those temperatures significantly cooler than what we were experiencing just last week. It's 39 degrees right now here in Lafayette, as well as up in Monticello. We see 42 degrees in Rochester, 37 in Crawfordsville. But it's windy outside, and that wind is actually allowing that wind chill to come through, bringing temperatures down to below freezing temperatures. At least that's what it feels like out there. You can see here in Lafayette, we're feeling like we're right at the freezing mark, 32 degrees. 30 degrees Monticello, 28 degrees up in Rensselaer, and that's all that wind coming out of the north, and it's going to continue throughout the day today with those high wind speeds as we go through the day. The temperatures not going to see a huge warm up today. While we are going to see a lot of sunshine, I don't expect our temperatures to really warm up too much. You can see I actually expect it to go down a little bit more before we start to see that warming trend warming up to the low 40s today. But again, we are going to experience quite a bit of sunshine. That'll be nice, but a little bit deceiving. And check out some of these winds. You can see wind gusts reaching up to 20 miles an hour for the day today. Then for the overnight hours, that's when we start to see that freeze warning go into effect. For most of our counties, you can see here, it goes into effect starting at 10 p.m. It will last until 10 a.m. tomorrow. We are expecting those overnight lows to drop to between the mid to lower 20s. So this is really a good time, especially because it's the first time this season, to make sure your pipes are protected. So disconnect the hoses, drain anything that you might need to drain. Uh, the sense of the vegetation, of course, also take care of that as well. Make sure you know where those winter coats are. If you don't already need them for today, you certainly will for tomorrow. Otherwise, for the day tomorrow, let's take a look at future cast. I'm actually starting this at noon today. You can see the wind coming from the north. That's going to continue through the day. You've noticed not a whole lot of activity today, just that wind. Then as we go into the day tomorrow, that's when we start to see some changes. The clouds are going to be the first thing. Those are going to start to increase. You notice the wind even makes a slight shift as well. This is all part of a low pressure system. And you'll notice the little bit of rotation right here. The low pressure system, as that goes across the Great Lakes, we're going to see that bring moisture into our area, which means we have a chance of snow flurries in our area as well. I'm not expecting a ton of accumulation out of this, but you can see Tuesday evening on the way home from work and school, we could start to see some of those flurries. Those will be here kind of throughout the evening hours. Again, I'm expecting this to be hit and miss in nature. I don't expect a lot of accumulation, but of course on Halloween, we're going to be out there with some snow flurries. It's also going to be pretty windy as well. Temperatures tomorrow are going to be staying into the 30s, and you can see the wind gusts reaching up to 30 to 35 miles an hour. Taking a look at the rest of the seven day forecast, it does look like Tuesday is going to be the coldest day that we can expect. We'll see more sunshine and a rebound for the day on Wednesday as we go into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Temperatures start to warm up a little bit more. However, all of these are still below our average high for this time of the year. So you remember last week we were talking about how it was nice and warm, get outside and enjoy. This week is why we kept saying that. <laughs> Taking a look, you can see uh, 58 is really the highest high we have up there. And even our average high this time of year is 61 degrees. Several days there you can see with temperatures expected to be below freezing, not only overnight tonight, but then going into tonight or Tuesday into Wednesday, also expected to be below freezing. And then a few 40s up there, it kind of, you know, averages out and evens out a little yep. bit. But